Hello everyone, this is my channel Tally Learning World. In today's video, I will show you how do we do remote access in Tally. So to access remote in Tally Prime, so we have already created the company. So I'll just show you how do we set the configuration to do remote access in Tally Prime. So ensure that the company is connected with the internet and it have the same release in the accessing of remote location where you want to access your data and ensure that you have valid tally.net services. So we have the first feature which we need to do setting. I am trying to alter my company. In my company alteration screen, check whether have you defined security control or user access control for this particular company. If you have not specified, press F12, you will get an option use user access control. Make this option to yes then press control A. So now as you can see there is an option control user access to company data. Let's enable and give the username and password for this particular company. So as you can see I have provided the username and password for this company. To set the remote access, I have to go to Alt K. I'll go to User Rules. You can select any of the new feature, either Tally.net User, Tally.net Auditor, or Tally.net Owner, based on your required. And I'm selecting here Tally.net User, and Use Basic Facilities. Also, I'll select as Tally.net User. So based on your requirement, if you want to give a restrict to your user for backdated vouchers entry, you can restrict it from here. The same for the cutoff date. And if you want to allow the user to have the save view report for this company, you can enable. And if you want to give the permission to the user to delete the save view options, of the reports you can give it option to yes if you don't want you to give access to delete you can see this option to no so this is the new feature which we have been bought in tally prime 2.0 rest and all everything remains same and we have the option allow to connect company we'll make this option to yes and we have use tally.net authenticate to use. So now I don't want to restrict for my user anything. So I'll just select here end of list, end of list. If anything, if you want to give restriction, you can go to the disallow the following facilities based on your required either create or alter or full access. You can select and you can give this restrictions to the users. Now once I have selected this security control for this company I'll just press control A so again we have to go to gateway of tally or from any screen alt K now you can go to users and password so once we go to users and password we'll select here tally.net user so once I selected tally.net user I have enabled the option for my username and I am trying to provide allow for browser access and allow for remote access both. So if you want to use the TDL which you have been purchased and add on, you wanted to give this permission to use even in the remote location, you can enable this option and set off end of list and I am trying to accept the screen. 
So this is what the configuration we have to do if you want to do remote access in your any company. So to do remote access we have to go Alt key. We need to connect to the company here by clicking on connect for online access. So once you click on connect online access your company will get connected to tally.net server as you can see the company here see it's coming and here the name it's been say connected for online access so let us go to the other system where we don't have the license we'll go to that particular license system and we'll try to access the tally with the remote access as you can see I have come to the other system in this system we need to go to select remote company in select remote company I'll just enter the ID and tally.net password so once I enter the email ID and tally.net password the company name it will be displayed so I'll just select the company for which company I am trying to access so once I select this company, as you can see, the company is getting connected successfully to my from the remote system to the main system. So it takes time when your internet speed is bit slow. So based on your internet speed, your tally will be responding in the remote system. Now as you can see the company is got connected successfully here are my details of my company for remote access it will be displayed and whatever the transactions I have recorded in that company I can just have access and I can view the balance sheet and I can see my stock summary based on whatever the requirement I have so I can just check the reports to log out this company so we need to press alt f3 you can just click on remote user logout so do you want to click on do you want to close all the reports and vouchers master without saving you will be getting this message and you want it to shut this company if you make this option yes the company will get shut in the remote end thank you for watching my video kindly like comment and share my videos for more videos subscribe to my channel Tally Learning World and press the bell icon to get new more updates and new videos.